Raquel, I think. Yes. Hi. Hello, everyone. Uh, I, I'm Raquel Almeida from ISQ, and I will now share my presentation. <laughs> Okay, so I will now talk about, um, after these uh, in introductions made by Ellen and Adrian, I will now talk about our experiment, which we call Building ISQ RRI Model. Uh, I will start by introducing us, who are we, who we are, our goals in this Fit for RRI experiment, what were the main challenges we faced, uh, the RRI pillar selections and selection and training, the lessons we learned, I will talk about some good practices that we took out of it, and uh, we will, I will also talk about the, uh, our plans to further embed RRI in our work. Um, okay, so first, who are we? ISQ, we are the biggest technology infrastructure in Portugal. We are a private, non-profit and independent entity with more than 50 years of activity. Uh, and uh, we, ISQ has a large industrial and service companies in the, in the country as uh, their associates or our associates, they are our associates. Uh, ISQ has a strong reputation in, uh, in the Portuguese market. We are a company with, with over 50 years of experience. We have 16 accredited laboratories. We have six contact points in Portugal. Uh, and these contact points mean some branches, some laboratories spread around the country. We offer more than 250 specialized services and uh, we are about 1,400 employees, uh, not only in Portugal. In Portugal, we are only about uh, 800, but the, the rest is spread around the world. Uh, so the, the laboratories or the fields that uh, the sectors that we work a lot in are health, pharmaceutical, food, uh, automotive, aeronautical and agriculture and uh, some of the uh, services that we uh, offer are in engineering and consultancy, verification and regulatory, uh, regulatory works, uh, and testing, inspection, training, and we also uh, uh, promote research and development of innovation. Um, this is to give you an idea of where we are. We are in Portugal, our headquarters is in Portugal. We are a 100% Portuguese company, but we also are, uh, have branches in several different areas in the world. So, about our goals in this experiment. So, uh, the original goals of this experiment for us was to anchor the project experiment in a co-experiment model to an ongoing project in the energy field. This was one of the first uh, uh, goals in the original experiment. Uh, then we were to test previous outputs on governance setting and sectoral, sectoral variability with respect to responsible research and innovation. By that time, we chose a project that we had ongoing, which was called MoEBIOS, uh, which was about modeling optimization of energy efficiency in buildings for urban sustainability. You can find the, the, the the link to the website of the ad project here. Uh, so this was the original goals. Meanwhile, and during the project, we uh, had a change in our goals. And so uh, we decided to uh, build our own uh, RRI model. So we started building ISQ RRI model, and then of course, build a roadmap, develop a roadmap to implement it. So these were our new goals uh, during the project. The first, Main challenge that we faced was the fact that once the fit for RRI project started, RRI was a concept that was unknown to ISQ. So yes, we were familiar and we were very active in corporate social responsibility, but we have never heard of a responsible research and innovation concept. So this was the main challenge, the first challenge that we faced. Of course, the challenge led to a second challenge, which was uh, a big, big learning step. So we had to understand what lies beneath a responsible research and innovation uh, uh, concept and also open science because the Fit for RRI project was focusing not only RRI but also open science. So this was our second main challenge. The third main challenge 
was an internal diagnosis. Okay, so the project team in which I'm included, uh, we never heard about uh, responsible research and innovation before, but perhaps some other people in ISQ had. So we had to do this, uh, we had to start this internal diagnosis. Uh, so we chose some uh, key uh, researchers in our uh, institution, in our organization, and uh, we prepared some interviews uh, to ask about uh, what they knew of the pillars that uh, are encompassed in uh, the RRI uh, concept. So we didn't, okay, we also asked about, do you know what RRI is? But then we went pillar by pillar about what was their understanding of the, the, those pillars. So we did this first internal diagnosis to know, to have an x-ray, let's say, of uh, what was our uh, status in terms of RRI and uh, open science. Um, then, of course, the fourth main step, uh, main challenge in, in our experiment was to get all ISQ researchers on board. In ISQ, and although we are about 1,400 employees, our research team is composed by about 45 uh, researchers. So, okay, we wanted to get everyone on board. So these were the main challenges that we faced. So our strategy was to first promote uh, an internal workshop, a workshop for our researchers, uh, to not calling it uh, RRI, uh, uh, workshop, but uh, reflection, joint reflection workshop. Uh, we didn't even use the, the term RRI when inviting researchers because we didn't want people to have a defensive attitude. Like if you say, let's talk about doing uh, responsible research and innovation, we cannot uh, assume that people are not doing responsible research and innovation. So it's not a good practice in our opinion to uh, start by, for people that never heard about it, to let's talk about responsibility and doing our jobs with responsibility. It's not about that. So we, we invited them for a joint reflection. And the ISQ had the team, several team of researchers spread around the, the, the company. So we were not together. We were working in, uh, in groups, uh, separated groups. Um, so this joint reflection was very important. And when we did this first invitation and because everyone is always so busy well the most heads of units or heads of units of these groups of these research groups sent uh, junior researchers so these were the first groups mostly junior researchers were in this first workshop well the first workshop went so well it was uh, such a success that uh, one of the senior researchers that was uh, in the group said well you sh we should do this again you should do another workshop and now ask senior researchers to come. And that's what we did. Uh, we invited senior researchers to come. Uh, and then we had a bigger group again. Another workshop was promoted, the same, the same model. Uh, and then we had most, most uh, researchers from ISQ involved in the process, in the, these workshops. And in these workshops, we would first start by reflecting on what we were doing, on what was going wrong, what was going uh, not so well, and uh, then doing a very, very short presentation on what RRI is about in 10 minutes. That was one of our challenges also, to try to present responsible research and innovation concept, concept in 10 minutes, and there it was. Okay, so, and then, we had in the in the scope of the experiment we had to select at least two pillars that was one of the requirements of the experiment so when we were asked to choose these two main pillars and before the the workshops we decided to go for governance and open science and open access so we wanted to tackle this we wanted to approach this to cover these uh, two pillars but after these these workshops and after our internal consultation of after jointly uh, reflecting with all the researchers from ISQ, we then decided and taking into consideration the concerns that were raised during these workshops, we decided also to go and explore also public engagement, science education and gender equality. So these were the pillars that we wanted to cover in our experiment. Um, 
So we uh, started preparing uh, a set of training sessions. And the first training session that we promoted was a session about open science and open access. For that, we invited Pedro Principe, which is from the University of Minho, uh, which is also a partner in Fit for RRI project. Uh, the University of Minho is, is an expert. They are experts in open science. And so the, we thought they were the best people to talk about and to give a workshop on what open science and open access is. Uh, first of all, to uh, set a little bit the differences between the two, these two concepts, open access and open science, and then to explore what this, this means, what open science means. And uh, so this was the first workshop. Uh, the second workshop, no, meanwhile, sorry, meanwhile, uh, during the process, um, ISQ uh, went through a transformation. Well, at least the research and development of innovation activity went through a, a transformation. So first, in the beginning of the experiment, we had these different and separate groups of researchers, of the teams of researchers working separately in different types of uh, uh, research fields. And then during the process, uh, a new uh, research and development of innovation department was created. And uh, this was a, a very big surprise for, for me, for, in, for instance. Uh, I was part of one of the groups of the researchers. So it was a big change. And for us, the timing was perfect because then we had everyone aware of uh, re, uh, what research and, uh, and uh, oh, responsible research and innovation is and open science, and we had started the process. So, and the new director of this uh, new department uh, was, before this new department was created, he was one of our colleagues. So he was completely involved in the experiment. And so he took the decision to embed RRI in the new department vision and mission. And so this was very, very important, of course, for the success of our experiment, and, and I believe for the success of this new department. So we had first had the first uh, training workshop uh, on open science and open access. And then the second, second workshop was on governance. And since we are spread around the country, yes, we had the first uh, big workshop uh, involving all researchers or most of the researchers of ISQ uh, on governance and uh, trying to figure out what makes more uh, sense for us in, the, in, the, in terms of governance. Uh, and taking into account also uh, responsible research and innovation and open science. So we had uh, several sessions of uh, joint reflection to, to decide on how our governance model would be. Uh, and so this took place in several different parts of the country because we wanted to get everyone, everyone really involved. Everyone, and when I say everyone, is every researcher in ISQ. Then, then we went for science education. Uh, we prepared a, a science education workshop and we focused a lot on what would make sense to us. Um, and this was very key, the, the, what makes sense to us. Let's not forget that we are a private company. We have no public funding. So a NARI model for ISQ had to make sense for ISQ, to ISQ. So this was our uh, strategy. Lessons learned. So what we, we learned from this was that uh, these uh, first workshops, the two first workshops, the joint reflection sessions, were key to get everyone involved. What, these were really key. And for us, this is the, one of the keys for success if we try to implement uh, uh, an RRI model in an institution. Uh, the second lesson learned was that uh, actually researchers uh, don't usually think of the things that uh, are involved in uh, re responsible research and innovation. So researchers, in these workshops, researchers were faced with issues and ideas that are not usually on the table in their professional lives and work routines. Uh, yeah, we are all, all, all also, all, oh, sorry, we are all always so busy. So it, it happens, we, sometimes we don't have time to reflect on actually what we are doing and what we are working on. So these uh, workshops were very important also to think and reflect in a joint uh, session on these things. 
Third lesson was that tailor-made training sessions on the selected pillars constituted an important uh, awareness raising action, but are also very important for um, an organization institutional change. It has to make sense for, for the organization. So perhaps some things that are included in the pillars uh, make a lot of sense and are very, very close to uh, the, the kind of activity that an organization promotes and some others are not uh, so suited to or not so close to uh, the activity that uh, the organization or the research activity that the organization uh, uh, entails. So uh, tailor-made training sessions for us was also one of the lessons done. It's important. It, it's very important to make it uh, for the needs of the organization and for what makes sense for the organization. A fourth lesson learned was that, uh, and this was one of our visions and the, one of the visions that we wanted to pass, is that RRI, Responsible Research and Innovation, is a way of doing uh, research and development of innovation using a long-term perspective. And this is in terms of the kind of world we want to live in. So that's why it, we believe it's so important. We have to think of the long-term perspective. We think we have to think of the consequences of the innovation with, that we are uh, working on. And this is very important, and this was also a lesson learned for us. And uh, last but not least, one of the most important lessons learned in this experiment for us is that responsible research and innovation is a flexible model. It, this is not, it, it's not a concept that, uh, or it's not a model that one size fits all. No, it's, it has to make sense for the organization that is applying it, that it's implementing a model, that it's embedding embedding this in, in their way of doing uh, research and develop of innovation. Those, so these were the main lessons learned with, this, uh, with our experiment. Good practices, in our opinion, in, in, in our uh, experiment was that the selection of pillars was done based also on the concerns of the researchers. So it's not only one, one person or two persons or a small team of persons thinking of what is most important for the organization. It's about listening to all the concerns or to the concerns of the researchers and then, then taking a decision on what are the pillars that are most important to uh, cover or to approach in uh, a, 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 an experiment such as ours. Um, another good practice for us was uh, that the training sessions on the selected pillars uh, constituted an important awareness raising action and again they, they were tailor-made and uh, we consider that we are planting the seed uh, so it's not that we will see the results of what we were doing in the last uh, months so in year and a half about two years it's not that we will see the the change immediately i i believe that res responsible research and innovation for a company such as ours that had never heard about it before, uh, a change takes time. So we believe that we are planting the seed and we believe that uh, the results will come out soon. Uh, in terms of our plans to further embed uh, responsible research and innovation in our work, so we are building our uh, responsible research and innovation implementation roadmap. Uh, we want to engage more with the society Although we do with some of the quadruple helix uh, actors, perhaps we do, are not so successful with others, so we want to be better at that, and that's why, and we will also use the public engagement uh, pillar on that, uh, in that sense. Uh, we are setting um, RRI uh, indicators, so in our uh, department, so we plan to measure our uh, indicators every year, and report on them. Uh, we plan to continue uh, responsible research and innovation training and we also plan to make it compulsory for each new researcher that the company takes in. Uh, and we also plan to keep spreading the word. After our experiment we started spreading the word and we are now bringing responsible research and innovation concepts to new projects that we are getting involved in. Uh, and these are some of the features, the challenges that we are uh, uh, launching to uh, research centers that we work with. And we have been doing this since we, our experiment. Thank you. And this, is, this was 
uh, my presentation on our experiment. Thank you very much, Raquel.